If the bottom seal on your garage door isn't keeping out critters or water, it may be time to replace it. Let me show you how to do that in just a few easy steps. First, you'll wanna raise your garage door up to about shoulder height. So right here's about good so that you're not having to bend over as you're pulling the seal through the retainer. One thing you're gonna need is a drill with a Phillips head on it because you'll have a couple of screws that you have to take off that keeps the seal from moving. And we're just gonna go ahead and take those out. Usually there's one on each end. We're gonna take the other one out. So now that the screws are out, all you should have to do is just pull on that seal. I really don't recommend doing this alone because you'll just get really irritated <laughs> and quit. Now we've got our new seal. What we're gonna have to do is there's two different chambers on this retainer and the end of the seal has kind of a little T on each end. One person's gonna feed that through on this end and the other person's gonna pull it all the way down. An important note is there's a smooth side and a side with ridges and you want these ridges to be touching the ground. Okay, so Cam's gonna line up these T's into the tracks on the bottom retainer. He's gonna start it, and then you're just gonna hold the bottom seal and keep it cut while the other person just slowly pulls it through. If it's really stiff or if it's really sticking as you're pulling it through, you can spray it with a little bit of lubricant and that'll help just lubricate it a little bit better so that it won't get stuck as easily. Sometimes the manufacturer will screw this screw in too tight and what it'll do is it'll bend these edges up and in and make it really difficult to pull this rubber past it. What I suggest is get a big flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry down on it so it opens up that channel so that you can pull that rubber seal through it like that. Cameron's gonna keep it cupped. I'm gonna start pulling slowly. Let's see if I can get through that. Yep, okay, there we go. We got through it. Uh-oh, but it came apart. So sometimes as you're pulling, it's gonna come out of those tracks and that's okay. Just back it up and get it realigned in there and continue. Well, oh man. It even happens to us if we're trained professionals. So I'm almost having to push up on these two ends just to keep them in the tracks so that both little lips stay in there in the channel because as soon as you let it tilt one way or the other, it comes out. So once you get done on both ends, you're gonna have a little bit of excess maybe. You're just gonna wanna cut it off about right in the middle here. And then on this side, his is gonna be about at the same place. So now we're just gonna put our screws in. And that'll cinch it down. And then he's just gonna cut that right in the middle of that gap. All right, good deal. Right, go ahead and put it down. There used to be a little bit of a gap right here, but now that we've got the new seal on there, closes it right up. So replacing your bottom seal, it does take a little bit of work, but once you do that, it's gonna seal your door up a lot nicer if you've been having problems with it sealing. If that's something that you don't really wanna try and do yourself, or if you have any other problems with your garage door or garage door opener, please contact us today. We can help.